Welcome to hardatengineer.com. I am Varun Patel. In this video, you will learn about the difference between the gate wall and the ball wall. Gate wall versus ball wall video is helpful for those who have just started working in industries. Please subscribe to my channel because that helps me to increase my reach on YouTube and you will get notification of new video. You can subscribe right now by just clicking the subscribe button which is on the corner of your screen. On this slide, you can see the gate wall and the ball wall side by side. The first thing you will see is the shape of the body. You can easily see the difference between them. The gate wall has a larger body as compared to ball wall of the same size and rating. You can also see that the gate wall body is vertically longer due to its disc that moves vertically in the body. Whereas in the case of ball wall, the body is horizontally longer as ball shaped disc rotates in the body. So now on, you can easily identify this type of wall in the field. On this slide, I have shown a cross section of both walls. Let's compare side by side to know the difference between them. The type of disc defines the type of wall in the most cases. The wall disc is the component that stop or control the flow through the wall. Get wall disc is vertical and flat circular plates whereas in the case of ball wall, it is spherical metal ball. I want to highlight that both the gate wall and ball wall are used as on off wall. That means it can either be fully open or closed. You cannot use this wall as a control wall as they are not designed for this function. If somebody is using this wall as a control wall, then it is a wrong practice. The second difference is the way these walls are open. The get walls is a linear motion wall whereas the ball wall is the rotary motion wall. The ball wall is the fast acting wall as just 90 degree turn can fully open or close the wall. In case of the get wall, the gate moves perpendicular to the flow of fluid and it requires more time to open or close the wall. The steam of the gate wall is long as compared to the ball wall. Here you can see that ball wall is connected with the lever by a short steam. And in case of gate wall, you can see that hand wheel is connected with the disc through the long threaded steam. Both this wall can be operated by a motor or lever. Small and medium size ball are lever operated whereas large size ball wall required gear mechanism with hand wheel due to the large torque requirement. On the other hand, get walls are always operated through hand wheel with or without gear mechanism depending on the size of the wall. The next difference is the material of the wall sheets. Get walls are available in mainly metal sheet design whereas the seat of the ball wall can be of metal or non-metal depending on the temperature requirement. On this slide you can see the multi-port ball wall. Ball wall offers multiple port option whereas get walls are simple in design and always single port. That means only one inlet and one outlet. Cost wise, the ball wall of the same size and rating will be costlier as compared to the get wall. These are the main differences between the get wall and ball wall that I have summarized on this slide. Both get and ball wall are the right choice for positive isolation. The ball wall offers a little superior set off as compared to the get wall due to soft seat design. Choosing the correct wall for your service depend on many factors such as cost, fluid of the service, temperature, pressure, life cycle of the plant. I hope 
this video is helpful to you please do like and share this video with your friends if you want to learn more about piping you can visit my website hardatengineer.com don't forget to subscribe see you soon goodbye take care